All right, so this is the uh, best lighting. Let me bring the camera a little closer. Best lighting I can do here at my mom's house. <laughs> These are her glasses. <laughs> but at least I can see what the hell I'm reading. Now, one of the things I ran into on the trip was uh, I couldn't figure out how to operate the doggone automatic high beams on the Toyota Prius Prime. And so finally I, you know, pulled the, pulled the manual in here and uh, I've been reading it. So the automatic high beam uses an in-vehicle front camera, obviously, to assess the brightness of street lights and the lights of vehicles ahead and automatically turns the high beam on and off as necessary. Now, as I was driving for 17 hours in the dark, a lot of it, um, I couldn't figure out how to operate this damn thing. I mean, because, you know, I just drive around Florida. I mean, you know, and, and when you're driving locally, I mean, how often am I out at night driving, you know, for many miles? And so this was a real problem for me. So I just thought I'd make a quick uh, video about this and just throw it up on YouTube. So limitations of the automatic high beam. I'm just reading the manual to you. Do not rely on the automatic high beam. Always drive safely. Ooh, imagine that, you know. Try not to walk on wet floors or uh, feed the gators. But uh, yeah, we can, we can go there and uh, take care to observe your surroundings and to turn the high beam off manually. All right. So to prevent incorrect operation of the high beam system, do not overload the vehicle. Well, I probably have the vehicle overloaded. I can guarantee that because I got all my camping gear in there. But let's let's get down. So this is what it says. Activating the automatic high beam system. So push the lever away from you with the headlight switch in the auto or and uh, let me just try to get this on the video. Right. I know the lighting is bad, but maybe I, we can get this. But it's kind of like a, a little... Um, well, I don't know. I don't even know how you describe that, but it's it's the, uh, well, actually I can. Hold on. Give me one second. Um, because it's, it, they have them numbered in here. It's the, um, it's the third position, which, which is actually at the top. Okay, so you're going to go all the way up to the, uh, the num, yeah, the number three position, which is the headlights and all lights listed above except daylight running lights turns on. So really, all you do is you take that light switch and just turn it all the way to the top. That's the number three position. That's what you're going to want. Okay, so put it in that position, the auto or that three position. Press the automatic high beam switch. Now, I know you can't see it, but let's try to get this on the video. I don't know. But anyway, it's kind of down on the uh, the left-hand side, okay? And it'll say auto on the switch. And so the automatic high beam indicator will come on when the headlights are turned on automatically to indicate that the system is active. So this is where I was missing. Because, man, I tried every single one of the light. You know, I kept turning the thing up, turning it down. And, I, and so... For me to be going down these country roads, because you know I drove through a national forest in, in Georgia, and I couldn't figure out why the automatic high beams wouldn't work. Well, I didn't press this doggone switch, which is down on the lower left side, okay, and just it says auto there. So then, uh, so this this gets kind of kind of crazy. So turning the high beam on off manually, okay. Pull the lever to the original position. Okay, so yeah, you, you know when you, you know, with the old cars, I mean, you used you flip the switch forward and flip it back, and that's what I was doing the whole damn way for 17 damn hours, trying to get to Lynchburg, Virginia, from Florida, uh, doing the doing it the old-fashioned way. But I thought I had these automatic high beams that I couldn't get to work, you know, and plus I can't pull the manual out while I'm driving 60, 55, 70 miles an hour, you know. But anyway. Pull the lever to the original position. The automatic high beam indicator will turn off. Okay. Push the lever away from you to activate the automatic high beam system again. So it does sound like once you've got, you've pressed that auto button down on the lower left side, that 
you can switch manually between the low and the high beams. Now I haven't tested this out and I will be testing it out soon. I'm, like I said, I'm leaving November 3rd from Lynchburg, Virginia after the election. Boy, I tell you, it really looks like the Republicans gonna win. I'm, I'm getting pretty pumped. Oh, hey, how do you guys feel about paying all them reparations to the uh, illegal immigrants? Looks like we're gonna give them a million dollars. I guess uh, Democrats are all for that, man. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. I, that's a lot of taxpayer money that we're gonna be paying to illegal immigrants that came into the country illegally. But uh, d that's just me. Of course, you got George Soros up there and Mark Zuckerberg and uh, those idiots uh, leading the leading the charge. But let's let's keep going. Switching to high beam. Press the automatic high beam switch. Okay. Now, I, I guess the, the odd. Well, let's just read it to you. The automatic high beam indicator will turn off, and the high beam indicator will turn on. Press the switch to activate the automatic high beam system again. So this kind of indicates to me that when I manually cut off the high beams, um, I'm going to have to press that auto button on the lower left hand side. Now I'm going to test all this out, probably put this in a future video, but I just thought I'd throw up a quick video about this because this was a real problem for me. I mean, I was driving down all these country roads and coming up uh, 85, and I just wanted the doggone high beams to kind of click on and off, especially when I got to 29 and there's no cars on it from uh, Danville, Virginia, all the way to Lynchburg, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, you know, I really wanted those high beams just going on and off on their own. Uh, by the way, you know, like I, I told you, the adaptive cruise control was awesome. It was great to have. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of, I'm still learning about the Toyota Prius Prime. And, you know, as I, as I see things that you kind of need to know, I'll keep making these videos and uh, I'll keep throwing them up. Um, so, uh, you know, and you could read the rest of the manual, like high beam automatic turning off and on and off conditions. Uh, you know, and it t talks about all that. I don't think you really need to know all that. I mean, uh, the main thing was how to just get the doggone thing working, and that's what this video is all about. So anyway, um, let's throw up just a quick two-second video. And uh, man, I tell you, I am so glad to pull out the manual and figure this stuff out. Um, there's some other stuff that I'm, I'm looking at. Oh, well, uh, the main thing I want to learn about is the safety features of the uh, Toyota Prius Prime. And uh, as I learn about those, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll you know, tell you about it. Um, but uh, we'll be back on the road here soon. I tell you, I'm really impressed with how I packed for the trip. You know, I've got all the lighting necessary. I've got uh, all the you know, batteries. I've got everything. So, um, Let's just shut the book and uh, let's throw this video up. So there you go. That's how you have the high beams and the Toyota Prius Prime operating automatically. Now I know they're hard to come by, but I tell you what, it's a vehicle worth waiting for. 75, 80 miles to the gallon. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? We're at 380 a gallon here in Virginia. It's going to $6 a gallon. No way. No way you take down the Keystone Pipeline. No way you destroy the fracking industry. No way you end the Anwar exploration. No way you enable the Russians to have their pipeline going into Europe and not have the gas prices go up. Hmm? You guys enjoying your $4 a gallon? Well, I heard, I heard it hit $7.80 a gallon in California. I, I can't even picture that. Well, guess what? I... Since I've been to Lynchburg, Virginia, I just plugged the car into my mom's house. Do you think I've burnt one ounce of gas since I've been in Lynchburg, Virginia? Not one ounce. All I do is I just recharge that battery. And then, of course, you know, there's a lot of uh, liberal Democrats. They want to hit me and they say, oh, God, you, how much, you know how much one of them batteries cost to replace? How much one of them batteries cost to replace? I said, well, yeah, yeah, that's about 10000 well, in today's dollars. Now, you know, when, but you know what? The battery technology is coming down at the same time inflation's going up. You know, I, I hope you're enjoying your $10 bacon or whatever you're paying for it because Biden's, you know, we got inflation coming as they print, 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 print more money. But uh, but anyway, you know, I, I said, well, you know, as long as Toyota stays in business, I have a 10-year warranty. 10-year warranty on that battery. 
and I can plug it in here at my mom's house and drive around Lynchburg and you know they say 25 miles I'm getting about 45 45 miles on that battery uh, so you know I'm not burning I haven't I, I've only filled the tank one time uh, from Florida to Lynchburg Virginia so that's 11 gallons of gas uh, you guys do what you want, man. I told you to get a gas sipper. So I, now I've got the uh, ADV 150 getting 100 miles to the gallon. That's my motorcycle. And now I've got the car getting, uh, well, here in Lynchburg, 133 miles to the gallon. Um, but you're going to see $6 a gallon. And uh, I know Democrats are all for it. It's the new Green Deal, baby. That's what they want. They want them gas prices going up. And, of course, my wife's getting 22 miles to the gallon and thinks she's going to charge it to the joint account. Oh, hell no. We're getting a freaking divorce before she's charging her gas prices to our joint account. She's, it's coming out of her mad money, and that's what she wanted. And I kept telling her, I said, get you a new damn car. I said, Biden's going to jack them prices up to $6 a gallon. Oh. She just, oh, no, he won't. He's a great president. I love him. He's a Democrat. Yeah, yeah. You keep, keep, keep enjoying it. Keep enjoying your inflation. Keep enjoying your $6 a gallon. And by the way, all you Democrats, I hope you're out there enjoying your 22 miles to the gallon. There you go. That's it for this video. Let's put it up. Peace out. Let's do the, this day. The mantra. Freedom. Freedom. Good to be from Florida, where we have no vax mandates, no mask requirements, and no jabs, as we are free to come and do what we please under the great Republican leadership of the great Governor DeSantis. Peace.